Hello and welcome. My name is Melody and this is the 57th episode of the Melody Crochet Podcast where I come to you from my home in Texas and overshare my yarn obsessed life. Thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know down below what you're working on with me. This probably will not be a very long podcast. I just want to go ahead and share what I'm working on, what I'm excited about, and then we're going to do our little monthly giveaway at the end. So let's get started, shall we? It's birth month pretty excited about it. You might have seen my post over on Instagram. I love February. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> so I wanted to charge into it this morning. I needed a present, something yummy, and a tiara. So I got the tiara. I had pancakes delivered and a little present just to get things going. Now this one's for me. The present for you is coming up in a little bit, but I saw this at my local yarn store and I had to have it. Now, mostly because it's beautiful. And then I read, this is Dream in Color. I forget what this, oh, it's Smooshy with Cashmere. So it is very, very, very soft. It's fingering weight, but the color is called, it's from their pop-up club, December, 2020. I'm just so glad it's 2021. Just saying, best New Year's Day of the year. And I just had to have it. It's so, so, so pretty. I think it would make a fabulous sock head hat or I could just wear it on my head like this. I'm not picky, but so, so pretty and so, so soft. While I was there, my favorite knitting needles, I got them in a size five because they were longer than average. These are the Knit Pro Zings, Knitter's Pride Zings, size five, and they're just the prettiest purple ever. I love them so much. That's just the perfect color purple in my opinion. So let me know down below if you knit and if you've used the Knitter's Pride Zings. I have, and I like them. My number one before for DPN was the Carbons, and now definitely the Zings, although my skinniest ones do bend a little bit. And... I got my very first Likey, Lika, Lika, I always forget. I had the people from the company one time, they were around at a show and they told me how to pronounce it, Lika. And <laughs> it's a driftwood crochet hook. I got J because it's my happiest crochet hook. Things work up so fast on worsted weight yarn and a J. And I saw a gentleman online the other day, Combat Crochet. He's fabulous. Highly suggest going and checking him out. There's a lot of charity work for veterans. He seems really wonderful. And I really enjoyed his life. But he uses the driftwood also. And as soon as I saw it, I said, oh, that's gorgeous. And it's light as a feather and feels so, so, so good. I can't wait to put it to use on something worsted weight. I have some sparkly velvety red yarn for Valentine's Day and I'm thinking I might do a hat and mittens. I got it over at Hobby Lobby. Thinking that's its first project. Oh, it just smells good. I love it. So super excited. Let me know down below if you have used the Lika crochet hooks. I've used the needles and I love them, but so pretty, so excited. It was about $9. Yeah, they, it was $9, so it better be good. All I'm saying. <laughs> it's a little bit blunt by my standards, but it's kind of round. It has a bit of a roundness in there, don't you think? So we'll see how that works out, and I will definitely let you guys know. And what I've been working on is on the, the velvet yarn from, oh, help me, Walmart's brand. Maine. Mm, that'll come to me. But Walmart's Velvet Yarn, the super bulky. I'm making this lovely cowl. It's just so soft and velvety. I can't even. And so super excited about that. Hopefully that'll be done soon. I might put a hood on it. I have two balls. It goes for like $5 a ball. And that's a lot of yarn. I mean, this is all from this one. And I still have this much left. So that's pretty good. I'm working an end hook. I'll let you guys know when the project's done though, for sure. And let me know if you used any of the mainstays. I got it. 
mainstays yarn over at Walmart and what your favorite one is because they have a little of everything right now. I'm on my live the other day. I compared all the big yarn. We'll talk more about that in a second, but I compared all the big yarn on a live show the other day on here with my husband, Justin, and I like theirs. My son likes theirs too. And he likes mainstays color range better than the Bernat blanket big and the other one was who has the other one? Oh, hobby lobby's colors which are all gorgeous but he just thought they were a little too not good for his room his room is literally orange so he needs some very specific colors if he's going to match that <laughs> oh my god oh my daughter-in-law got me a new cold cup for valentine's day isn't that beautiful it's just the most beautiful striking red matte starbucks cold cup it's so beautiful her and my son my son picked it up she let him know when it was gonna drop though so between the two of them i got a present that's so pretty mm. also while i was at walmart the other day i picked up the new crochet world i was watching live jan carruthers the other day she's doing wonderfully and she said that she had actually it might have been bonnie bay crochet Ooh, I forget which one. Oh gracious. They're both looking at magazines and my brain is just, it's too much pancakes, sugar. <laughs> but supposedly one of them has three projects in here. Super excited. So I figured we'd do a live and talk about what's in it. So I grab one for me and I grab one for you guys. So we'll do a giveaway on there too. And I'm excited because that's scrappy right there. Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to have that on my couch. That is just beautiful. Mm, okay, so that was another present. I'm starting this birth month off with a bang. Let's do a giveaway, shall we? I just grabbed a couple things that I know I'm not going to be using to give away. So please keep in mind, this is all from Stash and I do have animals. The animals aren't in my yarn, but if you're very allergic, please keep that in mind. Alrighty. Now, this is available for the US and Canada. The first thing, I did that review of all the big yarns and I will probably go ahead, let me know down below, I'll probably do individual reviews of all the big yarns too because they were slightly different and I needed a hook. So there was a lot of organization involved in getting that video together. So I accidentally ordered two of the wooden 25 millimeter hooks. This one was from Amazon. I'll link down below. It's definitely awesome. The wood feels great when you're working with big yarn because you want a little weight behind it. I have the lightweight plastic one and it's nice. I prefer that rounded hook compared to the blunt tip of this one, but my shoulder and my elbow prefer this one. I don't normally have any pain with crocheting, but it's big yarn, big stitches, a big motion. And somebody asked, it was Penny. Hey Penny, I hope you're watching. She asked how big my blanket was. My blanket's hardly at all yet, but my goal is four feet by six feet because that's what I saw at the craft store. And the craft store blankets were four feet by six feet and they were $130, which was, I call it the craft store, but it's kind of like craft booths where everybody, where every booth is something different made by people. And I went for a walk and I saw these crochet blankets out of the big Bernat style, big yarn. And it was $130. And I said, I'll be going to the yarn store for that. Thank you very much. But I hope she sells hers. That's fabulous. But I'm definitely going to make my own at that love. Patton's wool. But I have not used this stripy, fabulous wool. Hopefully, if you have a little one or just love brights this time of year, you can use this. This is 100% wool. I believe virgin wool, so not super wash. Yes, 100% pure new wool. And they are, there's two balls. They're size four. Love this yarn for mittens. Love this yarn for hats. Wouldn't put it on my neck. You might be different though. Maybe after a good wool wash with some lanolin in there, it might feel a little bit better. But, or some people just use a good hair conditioner when washing, when washing their wools. This is Magnolia, 100 grams each ball. 
and I've had it in stash for a little while and I just am not going to use it. I have a ton of this in stash and I have a lot of projects planned for it, but none of them involving this. So we're going to part ways. And then another thing I collected, maybe a little too much of, is the Kobu. A little bright. Ooh. The Kobu. I love it. It feels so soft. You can make shirts out of it. You can make shorts out of it. You can make jewelry out of it. You can make, I wouldn't suggest hats unless you want them super duper drapey. Oh, bags look beautiful in this yarn, but I love the purple and that's what I over collected. And I'm hoping for some darker, deeper colors in the Kobu soon, but it's really, really pale baby pink. They call it, so this is two balls of the Kobu in pale pink. Wow. I love it when I say things like that. It's really, really pale pink. What color is it? Pale pink. And then we have a shawl and a cake, which I liked very, very much, but I'm not going to use it. I have a couple sets of it and I just would rather share it. You get 150 grams, 481 yards of size four worsted weight. Beautiful colors. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. Look what they did with theirs love it so so pretty so we have one cake of that and then a lot of you said last time i was talking that you haven't tried impeccable from michael's so we have to rectify that so we have a ball of the impeccable this color is a beautiful deep 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 teal that they call sapphire but i see a lot of green in this blue so i just think it's lovely so 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 pretty 100 acrylic and just a little bit more body to it a little less drapey less scratchy than red heart super saver which i also love but this is a little bit i use this for like baby hats i made a lot of baby bear hats out of this i love this it really holds its shape and it's a nice round structured yarn so if you haven't used it before, highly suggested if you're making a hat. Another yarn that you guys had mentioned not trying before was the Basic Stitch. And this is lovely. I believe this is DK weight. Nope, this is size four also. It's a very thin yarn for worsted weight though. Like, if you can see that, I know that this is a deep yarn, but this seems a lot thinner to me as far as the strand with a bigger twist. So very much, wanting to share that with you guys. This one you get 219 yards out of 100 grams. This one came from my stash for a while. This is Pacific from Cascade Yarns. 100 grams, 213 yards. This is 40% merino wool, 60% acrylic. It feels more like the acrylic, if I'm honest. So definitely washable, I bet. Yep, machine wash, cool beautiful lavender color. I love me a purple and highly excited about handing this over. And if you guys make anything out of my yarn that I give you, I would love it if you tag me because I love to see how it turns out. I just want to see it go to a good home. And I have some Valentine's Day dishclothy stuff coming up and so excited about the dishcloth I made this last week that I wanted to give you guys a cute little peaches and cream dishcloth yarn. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh, she is called Energetic Pink. It's a color changing striping yarn. It's nice for crochet because it actually has a good distance of striping before the color changes, which I think is really nice. I don't like it when the color changes every two or three stitches personally. It's too confetti looking. And then this little guy needs to go to a very good home. This is a crazy yarn. It's from Stonehenge Fiber Mill. Now I love their solid color yarn. I've made a lot of projects out of Stonehenge Fiber Mill. Um, I've made some for my husband. He washed one of them. It made it into the washer. Because this is 100% yarn, wool, not super wash. It's not washable. <laughs> Don't do that. It, it's for my son now, the littler one. But, oh, do not even agitate it. It's, it says it right there. Don't agitate me. Can I get that as a sticker? Can I put that on a t-shirt? Don't agitate. Do not agitate. But 100% fine wool. It's super, super soft and it's made out of their mill ends. So it's just kind of color changing through the whole thing. 
I bought several of them because I wanted to see how they would crochet up and I'm saving a couple. I still would like to, but I thought maybe somebody else would like to introduce it. So it's just a fun little blue and orange and colorful craziness. I just saw it and then it was called crazy and I had to have it. Heat wave. We all know about heat wave. Some of us believe in it and some of us don't. It really depends, I think, on how much sun you get. <laughs> If I go out in the sun in Texas in a hat, I can guarantee you my head's going to get warm. Guarantee. This is purple because, hello, it's me. But Red Heart Heat Wave, just one ball. See if you like it. And it's called Beach Bag. <laughs> I like that. I love a good name. I love their sticker too. Look at that infrared. My gosh, she's so toasty. Have you ever... And that is it, my friends. That is our little giveaway. As far as what we need to do to win, I would like you to comment down below. Hmm. Oh, let me know your month. As long as you give me a month, we're in good shape. So go ahead and this video, just put a month. If you'd like to put a month that's not your actual birthday for security reasons, I'm not checking. Don't worry about that. Feel free, but you got to put a month. And then over on my Valentine's Day video, I put on the Valentine's Day dishcloth. Go on over there and put, let's see, what should we put over there? Happy birth month. <laughs> I know, so self-centered. If you'd like to put anything else. I'll count it towards you. Don't worry. But happy birth month if you can't think of anything else. So over on the Valentine's Day dishcloth, it's just happy birth month. It's just like a video or two behind this one. If you go to my channel, you have to be subscribed because I am going for the 10K this month. I'm hoping for birth month to hit my 10K. So please like, subscribe, do the whole shindig, and thank you so much for stopping in. If you have any questions or comments, I will be checking those down below also, or hit me up over on Instagram. I'm always over on there checking things out. I'm a lot more active on stories, and I'd love to try reels, but I'm a lot more active on stories than I am on posting, but I'll try and be a little bit more active this month already. Thanks for stopping in. Take very good care. Give you a hug and I'll see you next time. Well, tomorrow. Bye.